Okay, they're killing foreigners. We gotta keep putting 10 steps between us and them. Hello everyone and welcome to Streaming Tech Now. On today's video, we're going to show you five of the most unbelievably intense scenes in a movie. Now, if we miss one you think should be on the list, let us know in the comments. These are not in any special order, so let's go ahead and get started. I think we all may recall that unbelievable intense scene from the 1993 movie Cliffhanger starring Sylvester Stallone when he isn't able to hang on and has to let her go to fall to her death. The heart pounding scene starts at 7 minutes and 55 seconds and goes through to about the 12 minute mark. Next up is one of my all-time favorite movies. If you haven't seen this, please watch this tonight. It is so very good, starring Brad Pitt and Christopher Waltz. It has several incredibly intense scenes from the opening scene to this bar scene. Now, the Bastards meet their German movie star contact, Bridget, which is played by Diane Kruger, for the very first time, and they must all pretend to be old friends by posing as Nazi officers. And much to the Bastards' surprise, they not only find Bridget in the bar, but it's also filled up with several drunken Nazis, one of whom is enamored with the movie star and won't leave them alone. They begin to question the origin of one of the bastards posing as a Nazi due to his strange accent. And guys, this is so intense. The bar scene starts at one hour in the 12 minute mark, but don't forget to pay close attention to the other incredibly intense opening scene at the three minute mark and it runs all the way through 21 minutes. And I want to promise you this will be a government of action. The Last King of Scotland. Now this is another one of my all-time favorite movies and is a must-watch. Forrest Whitaker and James McAvoy both give Oscar-worthy performances in here. The scene I'm referring to is so unbelievably intense, you have to actually watch the movie to appreciate it, because I really don't want to spoil anything by telling you what happens. But it's towards the end, and it starts at the 1 hour 40 minute mark. If you haven't seen this, go watch it. Black man. What do we watch? Argo is based on a 1979 Tehran hostage crisis starring Ben Affleck, who, by the way, directs much of the movie as well. It also has Alan Arkin, John Goodman, and Brian Cranston. The intense scene happens at the 1 hour 35 minute mark and runs through to about the 1 hour 52 mark when a group of Americans try to escape Iranian terrorists by creating a fake Hollywood production. And it will definitely leave you on the edge of your seat. Finally, we have No Escape, starring Owen Wilson, who usually plays in a comedy-type role, so it's very nice to see him step away from his comfort zone. He and his wife, Annie, take their two young daughters to Southeast Asia to start a new life. As his company plans to improve the region's water quality, the family quickly learns that they're right in the middle of a political uprising. An armed rebel start to attack their hotel and are ordered to kill any and all foreigners they encounter. Amid this utter chaos, Jack must find a way to save his family. The intense scene you're about to see is just part of it and will literally leave you breathless and it starts at the 40 minute mark and goes through to about the 45 minute. We gotta get over to that roof. What? You're gonna jump first and I'm gonna throw the kids over one at a time. No way! Annie, look at me! We're gonna die here! Stop. Listen to me! Okay! I need you to close your eyes. Okay. If I don't, no. those people are going to hurt you. Okay, so there you have it. Five of the most intense scenes in a movie. Let us know if you saw any of these movies and what you thought in the comments. Also, let us know what movies you think should make the list. Thanks for joining us today, and don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. We'll see you next time on Streaming Tech Now.